began with a dream. Oh, gone! Yeah, baby. We have a gun now. We're ready. What's up here? Manuscript page, maybe? Asking me manuscript page or one of the secret caches. We are going an awfully far way up. Watch it be nothing. Watch us make our way all the way up here for nothing. That'd be sick. Yeah, train depot's over there. I know that. But god damn it, am I curious as to what the fuck is up here? Oh, maybe it's a car. That'd be really cool. Maybe we found a secret car. Halo 2 Golden Warthog moment right there, boys. That wasn't real. That was a fake. Oh, there's a page over... No, that's just a radio. Wait a minute. Hang on. Is this where I came from? Yo, Master Rizzler's in here. What's up, Doka? How you doing? Why you calling yourself the Master Rizzler? Are there story updates? Oh, we, there's a page up here, isn't there? Yeah, let's go. Danny had stepped out, <clears throat> but stumbled back in with something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it, first with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Damn, so, so Walter isn't crazy. You got another story, Doka. Fuck yeah, let's hear it. Also, also, um, uh, whatever, whatever you say, it will be, it will be recorded in the annals of history for, for roughly 10 to 40 people watch, to watch it on YouTube, so, uh. What is over here? It'll be recorded in the in the Sanctum Santorum. <laughs> Fucking Christ! I just want the coffee mug, goddammit.
Welcome in, slime ups. Dear Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Terminator's amazing. Welcome in, Gator Breath. Terminator's fantastic. Great movie. Whoa! Get fucked. Bro, no fucking way. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Bro, you sent the risky tech and it worked out. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Whoa. Hey, a shot me. These fucking guys, huh? Yeah, that's right, bitches. Whoa! Ow! My onesie butt flap pajamas. <laughs> Dude, a bunch of Rizzlers in here. Bro! Bro, Donkey! You're mad, man! Somebody put the dog back in his cage! Dude, Donkey's a pit bull in a, in, a, in a rich suburban neighborhood right now. Or not a rich suburban neighborhood, just a regular suburban neighborhood right now. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Nice. The amount of Riz in this room right now is, is astonishing, boys. Paw Patrol working overtime to get us back in our cages! Oh, I love it. We all loaded up? Yeah, we got some guns. We got some ammo. Oh, somebody's calling me! Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go down. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Yeah, but Alice was like deathly afraid of the, the dark. How was she that? Terrible. But that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right. Okay, there we go. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. 
Okay, cool. So he is he is he does pick up on that too. Okay. Okay, well maybe Alan Wake isn't that dumb. Maybe he is Whoa. Was that just was that just like the game? I don't know what that was. Risen tactically like Snake. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Damn. That's, that's, that's gonna be interesting to witness. Um, what's over here? Whoa, torch, uh, like, little, little torch thingy. Definitely nowhere near as stupid as Evil Within's protagonist. Oh, yeah, no, Evil Within's protagonist is, um, Sebastian is actually very dumb. Oh, I, I, I don't have enough batteries. I don't have enough room for batteries. I'm all, I'm all loaded up. Can't wait for the first April Whoa, hello there. Back up, bitch. Whoa. Get fucked. I'm a goddamn, I'm surgical with this fucking shit. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. My name is Alan Wake and I'm a writer. I wrote this whole thing, but I can't remember. I keep getting spooked by scary dark things. Oh, that's a train. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. People say this game isn't scary. Well, I'm not people, all right? Oh, Jesus, stop it. Stop moving. Can I just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, baby, we made it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Stop throwing shit at me! Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. Hey! Hey, it's one of my pages. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. The dark presence was inside me. Eh. Eh. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Oh, a heavy-duty flashlight. Nice. This is sick. Okay, so this looks like a fight. Whoa! -oh.
Yeah, baby. I mean, oh. Shit. Radio shows can give you a deeper understanding. Yeah, we haven't. You know what? We haven't seen another Night Springs episode in a while. Fuck it. Easy mode, boys. In the light, you can hurt them. I tell you what, Remedy are the kings of like coming up with very interesting gameplay loops and and um, and ideas. Like the whole flashlight aiming mechanic is really cool. I like it a lot. I heard I heard controls pretty great too. Do we have anything on the radio? Um, there we go. No, I can't touch that radio. Okay. All right. Oh, yo, I'm just talking about Night Springs. Let's go. Boys, buckle in. Systems for granted. Unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion covering the vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Hey, um, let me move this dolly real quick. Get out of here, dolly. Gross. I hate that. That one that one wasn't a fun one. Pick a manuscript page. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Damn. We oh, oh. Whoa. It's it's a uh, this is wow. Holy shit. Hey. You 
destroyed the bulldozer. Cool. Nice. Dude, I'm the greatest. Anybody want some more, huh, motherfuckers? Can I drive this car? Yeah, baby. Is there anything in here? No? Cool. <clears throat> this glad to see the sunrise i had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine the coal mine wasn't far now the coal mine wasn't far now Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably <clears throat> I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It was not real, but it uh -oh. matched a textbook case of insanity. The whole world? Are you sure it's not just one town, buddy? Man, this truck really controls like shit, but it controls way better than the uh, Mass Effect 1 Mako. What's going on in here? What be in here? Oh, radio! This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see... I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger figure who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say... I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Hey. All right, you know what? Pat Main's, Pat Main's pretty cool. Is there something over here? Okay, no, that's just a broken bridge. Okay. Alright. We're good. You know, I would hate... I would hate driving up here. This, this, these curving roads, these big mountains, fuck that, man. Oh, no! Alright, we're alive. We live in, we live in, boys. Kinda wanna go in there? You know what, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll explore a little bit. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll dump that shitty old truck for this nice car. Welcome 
Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, Damn. To me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a Doc is a Sigma male, bro. <laughs> you got me there, Matt. But I think love's where you look for it, and you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was, and she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. Oh. with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. That's adorable. Also, there are none of the, uh, none of the little, um, things now. Well, maybe this is a different one. Maybe this is a different fire tower. Yeah, I want to drive this car. Oh, yeah, we sh moving now. <clears throat> I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Oh, nice. Coffee thermos! More coffee. Let's go, boys. Damn good cup of coffee. I found only 25. <laughs> While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1978. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Nice. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The scenes were rich, but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Whoa!